फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वर्जनिंग इन एस थ्री आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट आई विल आई विल डू अ लैब ऑन इट नाउ दिस इज द लैब सो वट इज वर्जन वर्जन मीन्स एनी अपडेटेड अपडेटेड कॉपी ऑफ एनी फाइल एनी ऑब्जेक्ट और एनी कंटेंट ओके सो लेट्स से दैट यू हैव अ फाइल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइल विच कंटेन सम कोड which you update every now and then and assuming that you don't maintain the old copies so you made an update and in that you made a mistake okay the important content is deleted now you want to recover it so if you don't maintain the old copies or old versions then it is not possible to be able to to be able to remain in a position to revert to the previous versions you need to have the option of versioning enabled in the s3 buckets so let me let me take you to s3 i already have a bucket created this is a name so if i click over this and if i click on the property you will see that the option of versioning is not yet enabled it will appear in some time okay it has appeared this is not yet enabled so if uh, i try to upload a file this is the file and i click on the next if i add permission for public let's make it read only and under the manage users all of the users which i have created these will appear one of the users is me i am the admin so those will be managed from here and public will be managed from here object means uh, everyone will have read only access to objects and object permissions mean whether you want to give that person the right to make amendment in the permissions of others or not i don't want to give any read only right or right 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 to that person okay else uh, he or she may delete or remove my permissions or anybody's permission so let's keep it simple let's not change this storage class or encryption click next upload the file is uploaded if i click here you see that there is an option latest version there is only one version so even if i upload it once more after making uh, changes let's make it version 2 save it go to the bucket and upload it upload this file the newer version next permissions read next next upload you will see that this file will have updated information you see the size has increased the attack has changed and if i click over this you will see it has the updated information but while you click here it only has the latest version if i delete this latest version the file will be deleted there is no way to recover it okay so let's delete this file there is option to delete okay there is option to delete it will delete the file okay so let me uh use this file now so first thing is that once you enable the versioning you must remember that it has to be enabled on the bucket and the versioning cannot be removed it cannot be deleted it can only be suspended but for future changes okay not for the existing versions it will still maintain those existing versions so and moreover you will also be able to recover the files if those have been deleted okay versions cannot be if you delete the versions those versions cannot be deleted but if you delete the file complete file that can be recovered i'll i'll show that to you probably in the next lab but right now we'll concentrate towards the versioning part so this is the bucket properties versioning is disabled let's enable it you see that once you suspend it this will stop the creation of version for future but preserves an existing object version so let's enable it click on the save it is enabled now i'll upload the file as the test file this is uploaded Ma manage the permissions everyone next next upload 
file is uh, uploaded click over here and now see this is the latest version okay let let's now open the link the link is opened okay it says that permission is denied let's see what is the permission why it is denied actually the access was given to everyone object access is safe okay probably it took it took some time to uh, update anyways this is working it says uh, this is a test file for s3 lab whatever i mentioned here now i'm gonna make some changes version uh, version one will be there this is the new version okay so i have saved it now let's go back to the bucket upload the newer version file file name is same okay it is save manage permissions everyone read next upload okay file uh, you can only see one file let's click here the link is still the same size has increased so now it has maintained the old copy as well as new copy so the the size of the uh, new copy is 74 bytes okay but how much is the total space occupied by this file because it also has the old version so total size is new version size plus old version size it will be near about 100 bytes okay this is the version id file name is still the same if i click here see the updated updated content is visible and note this thing once you click it has the old version the latest version is this one and old version is this one the size of the old version is this okay the link will be same to access the file now if i make further changes i mention version 2 and click on the save go back to the bucket upload the newer version yes the test file next now you will see three versions here okay so if i delete the latest version let's delete this latest version and also note that once you delete the version you by this method then you cannot recover the uh, that version's file okay the latest version is deleted now let's see see we are able to go back to the previous version okay similarly if you delete this version as well see you are able to uh, you are able to go back to the previous version so this is the benefit of versioning here okay you are able to uh, maintain the old copies of it so this was the versioning part so you can suspend this option click here suspend this option it will preserve it will preserve the existing versions but not the future ones so don't cancel it but you need to understand that if you have a file of let's say 10 gb and you enable the versioning so if you make even a one byte change and uh, if you update that 10 gb file there would be new version automatically created okay and the total space which will be used by that file will be 20 gb okay because it maintains the old version old version is 10 gb new version is 10 gb plus whatever changes you made so total space occupied or total space used in s3 will be uh, 20 gb okay so you have to disable versioning in that case as well else else amazon will charge from you so if you are making 100 changes on 10 gb file almost daily so think that your usage will go to terabyte this thing you need to keep it uh, you need to remember it so 
if you want to recover the file we have deleted the versions versions cannot be recovered in that fashion so let's uh, delete this file okay and see what is there in the file this is the content in the file let's delete this file I have deleted that now I want to recover it see it is not there I want to recover it if you want to recover the deleted objects not the versions click on the deleted objects okay so under the deleted objects select the file which you want to recover click over here and undo delete okay it says all affected objects will be restored now the file is there wow so you are able to recover the file so this restore facility is only applicable once you have versioning enabled okay but ver versions cannot be recovered However, if you delete the file, you will see all of the versions associated with that file will be recovered. Okay. Mm, if you want to see whether it recovers the versions as well or not, you click here. It has the latest version, which is this one. Let me upload one more version. Add. This is the latest version. Man information read okay it has uh, been updated with the new version click over here it has two versions okay this is the latest file so if I if I delete this file if I delete this file I will not be able to see the content and by deleting it i also lost two versions okay so i want to recover both versions click on the deleted objects click over here click on select it click on the undo delete undo delete file is recovered click over this file see the versions both versions are there so this way you are able to recover the versions click hit enter so both versions have been recovered so this is uh, actually new console it is very easy to use but uh, i've told you I've, I've shown that to you how to recover how to set versioning how to delete versions how to recover the versions okay how to set permissions permissions when we enabled on the file let me take you to where is that permission permission uh, object permission means you want to read the object object permissions section means the person who has been given the access to this would also have the access to grant permissions to others if you give write access to that if you give read access it means that person will be able to see what permissions other other people have okay so there is no need to enable it but I'm pretty certain that you've understood storage is by default that is standard S3 we have not yet moved in uh, we have not yet moved any file into S3 IA that is infrequently used access okay we'll talk about it in the coming chapters so I hope that it's been informative to you thank you